in this section, we will talk about suspended ceiling requirements. In the next 22 slides, we will talk about requirements related to suspended ceiling and pendant mounted light fixtures. CBC section 1617A.1.21 modifies ASCE 7-16 section 13.5.6.2 with exceptions and additions to the end of this ASCE section. Related inspection items can be found in inspection manual section 2.5. Updated reference standard is ASTM E580-17, Section 5.2.8, Standard Practice for Installation of Ceiling Suspension Systems for Acoustical Tile and Lay-In Panels in Areas Subject to Earthquake Ground Motions. Noted in DSA IR 25-2, Section 6.2, the notes and details must not be used unless specifically incorporated into DSA approved construction documents. ASTM E580-17 specifies requirements for suspended ceiling, such as for grid members, connectors, and expansion devices, section 5.1.1 and section 5.1.2. For vertical hangers, section 5.2.7.1 and 5.2.7.2. For lateral force bracing, section 5.2.8. For mechanical services, section 5.4. For lighting fixtures, section 5.3. For construction documents, section 7. Lateral bracing may be omitted in area less than or equal to 144 square feet if perimeter supports are provided per ASTM E580 section 5.2.2 2 inch wall angles and section 5.2.3 attached to two adjacent walls and the perimeter walls are designed to carry the ceiling lateral forces. ASTM E580 requires safety wires for light fixtures as following. If less than or equal to 10 pounds, one number 12 safety wire. If greater than 10 pounds and up to 56 pounds, two number 12 safety wires. If greater than 56 pounds, this light fixture shall be independently supported. Note. Fire alarm strobes are not considered light fixtures. DSA IR 25-2 section 2.6.3 clarifies safety wires for miscellaneous devices. If less than 10 pounds, no safety wire required. Between 10 to 20 pounds, one number 12 safety wire. If heavier than 20 pounds, independent support. Safety wires are connected to the light fixture or devices to ensure the fixture will not fall in the case of the failure of ceiling grid. When is supplemental hanger wire required? When fixtures are supported on cross runners with a capacity less than 16 pound per linear foot. Supplemental hanger wires are not the same as safety wires. They are attached to the grid, not a fixture, and they must be taut. Safety wires are still required even when supplemental hanger wires are installed. This picture from ASTM E580 shows the supplemental hanger wires where the light fixtures are supported on cross runners. All light fixtures and miscellaneous devices must be positively attached to the ceiling grid. Bendable tabs are not adequate as shown in the next slide. This photo shows a light fixture supported to the ceiling grid with a bendable tab. This is a non-compliant anchorage condition. This picture shows a typical spray wire assembly. 
there should be a compression strut and within two inch of the compression strut and cross runner there should be 12 gauge bracing wires in four directions the bracing wire connected to main runner should have minimum of four tight turns within one and a half inch at each end the 12 gauge vertical hanger wire at four feet on center each way shall have three tight turns within one and a half inch at each end. Certain things to watch while inspecting bracing wires. The wire must be taut. Four tight turns within one and a half inch at each end. If screw eye is used, it should align with the bracing wire direction. Do not twist joists by applying screw eye at bottom. Bracing wire should be attached to primary framing members, not secondary members, unless specifically shown in DSA approved documents. This picture shows how to properly install bracing wire with screw eye. This photo of bracing wire shows at least a couple of issues. First, the wire is not taut. Second, there seems to be only three turns of wire at connection to the main runner, and it is not tight turns at all. This photo shows two issues. First, the screw eye is not aligned with the bracing wire direction. Second, there are only three tight turns when four tight turns are required within one and a half inch at the end. Now we are going to review requirements for pendant mounted light fixtures. Additional information can be found in DSA IR 16-9 and IR 25-2.13 section 3.1. Pendant mounted light fixture must have safety cables from fixture directly to structure above per ASTM E580 section 5.3.7 ASC 7 section 13.6.1 and IR 16-9 section 1. This light fixture must be able to move 360 degrees in horizontal plane per ASC 7 section 13.6.1 item 3. The pendant mounted light fixture must also be able to swing freely 45 degrees from vertical without hitting anything or else bracing is required. We will later talk about spatial requirements if it free swings below ceiling. Adjacent fixture must be separated by a distance equal to minimum 1.5 times the length of the pendant or else bracing required. Here shows the 360 degree and 45 degree angle where the pendant mounted light fixture can freely swing. This photo shows conditions of hollow rod supported pendant light fixture and its requirements. Safety cable is required at hollow rod support and ball and socket joint is required to allow the hollow rod support to freely swing. Another picture showing issues of interference between pendant mounted light fixture and other structural or non-structural components. For pendant mounted light fixtures with support penetrating suspended ceilings, they must be braced at the level of the suspended ceiling and ceiling tile must be one inch clear of pendant at penetration. If ceiling grid member locations interfere with pendant, DSA approved specific details are required for pendant support and bracing. This picture shows a pendant mounted light fixture below ceiling with the penetration at ceiling tile. The hole in the tile must allow the pendant to move one inch in all directions. A compression strut is required for fixtures weighing more than 20 pounds. If the pendant light fixture is directly and independently braced below the ceiling, then a brace assembly is not required above the ceiling. 
Next, we are going to view a video taken at UC Santa Cruz during the Noma Prieta earthquake in 1989. It shows the dive fixture falling down during the earthquake. It might be perhaps very dangerous to the, to the increasing of political participation in Brazil. And they have a candidate who's very strong and is fighting with us for second place. Uh, 